So arrays are data types in LabVIEW that can incur heavy memory usage if used in efficiently. In this video, we will see two methods for handling arrays efficiently. Let's proceed. So for our first example, we will be adding an element to the beginning of an array. Adding an element at the end of an array is not memory intensive as there is space at the end of the array for LabVIEW to insert or append elements at. But to insert an element at the beginning of an array, we can use an inefficient method and an efficient method. Let's create an example. Let's create an array. Let's say we create an array of numbers and to add an element at the beginning of the this array we can use build array And suppose we want to add a new element at the start. Let's add a constant, a numeric constant. Suppose we want to add this element, um, let's say, the beginning of this array we want to add 5 to the beginning let's see how this works let's go and check the code and the element has been added to our array but this was not an efficient manner. Although our array is small, but lab we had to make a copy of this array, then create a new array and then show this array in this indicator. The efficient method, efficient way is to first reverse the array We reverse this array and then we add this same element but at the end of this array. Since there is already space at the end of the array, this is where arrays are expected to grow. This does not put additional load on LabVIEW's memory manager and after we have done this let's reverse once more reversing an array is not memory intensive as only the pointers to the members are reversed and no actual data copies are made so let's create an indicator let's run the code and the same task has been achieved but this time more efficiently let's go and uh, see another example uh, one structure that LabVIEW provides
for preventing creation of data copies is called in place element structure let's suppose we want to use this array but we want to index a particular element multiply it and then replace it inside the array for that we can right click and we can use add index array index replace elements function pass this array to this function let's say the index we want to modify this array at is index number one which is this then we want to multiply this element let's say with 2 and then pass it on here let's create an indicator let's run the code and the element that was present at index number 1 which is 1 has been multiplied by 2 so using in place element is an efficient manner of using arrays as no further copies are made and the lab view uses the same array and no copies are created for performing functions on arrays another function that we can use is array split replace array subsets so suppose we want to use the same array and we want to split it at index number one into two portions we want to multiply the first split with let's say the same two and we want to replace it since we are replacing we are indexing elements out of this array and re replacing it uh, in the same array no extra copies are required although we are splitting the array multiplying it by two let's do another operation for the second split the second part since we are splitting array at this this portion the one and two will go into this uh, second split let's multiply this with a with three and then pass it on to replace let's create two indicators let's go and see how our we have split the array multiplied it with different numbers and then replaced the elements in the same array let's see how it works so first the number of elements are same what we have done is we have split this array at this position and multiplied it with the first position which is 0 with uh, 2 so answer is still 0 and we have multiplied the second portion which is 1 and 2 by 3 so we get the result of 3 and 6 so doing that in non in place element structure using non uh, method we will have to 
then use uh, logic that would be not memory efficient lab you would have to make copies and this will incur uh, memory uh, hit uh, in this example this is a small example uh, memory usage would not be an issue but for large um, applications this certainly would be an issue thanks for watching hello friends if you are still here I really appreciate that you came to visit this channel this channel is a small channel we are growing but slowly we need your help please consider helping this channel what you can do is you can subscribe and visit this channel and watch the videos full length we need watch time to grow and what you can do further is that you can share this channel and its videos with your community on social media and I will be really really grateful to you for this act of kindness and consider you as a patron friend of this channel thank you very very much and please do come back thanks